from you? Oh, from Korea. Ah, oh, Korea. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. What are we making? The taste was better, like the milk is richer. Korean bing su is a very Instagrammable dish. It has so many colours and flavours. I opened Oma Spoon with my sister Joyce in 2015 to mainly selling the bing su in Singapore. It's a Singapore people are desired to look for the new all the time. You think it's not enough? Mm. You want more? Korean way of playing this. Okay. Like this. Like that. Like that. Yeah. Today is actually Korea Children's Day. I actually invited the Singaporean kids to our Bingsu shop because I want to expose to them the Korean culture and also let them you know experience how the uh, Korean kids actually celebrate the uh, Children's Day. Oh. What do you like to eat? Ice cream. Ice cream, Hi. Yeah. Yeah. So today we're gonna eat bingsu. Okay, anyone know what's bingsu or have you ever tried? Oh, we're gonna eat. No, no one knows. Everyone knows what's ice kacang. Okay, it's similar. It's Korean ice kacang, but it's different. It's made of milk. I open on my spoon with my sister Joyce in 2015 to mainly selling the bingsu in Singapore. What are we making? Bingsu! Traditional bingsu is made of uh, pure ice, which is made of pure water, and some syrups, and red bean only. <laughs> Nowadays, bingsu is actually made of a uh, shaped milk, and also different toppings like fresh fruits and Oreo. So, what do you say again? Okay. Excellent. The base is no longer water, it's based on milk, so they give you a more premium flavor. Mm. So yummy, right? This is like milk. Yes, I'm drinking milk. What we do is not just selling a food, but we are presenting our culture to the people. Okay, My brother and I were born and raised in Busan, which is a southern part of South Korea. My dad used to like the uh, fishing, and sometimes he catch a lot of fishes. We eat sashimi raw fish at home. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Bingsu was our favorite um, dessert for after meals. When I was young, there was, there was only one type of bean soup, but we actually call it pat bean soup. Pat is red bean in Korean. But uh, in year 2013, one lady from Busan, yeah, she came up with a new version of bean soup by accident. She put the milk instead of water. Within six months, they opened 200 shops. So there was explosion of this bingsu in Korea. When bingsu first came to Singapore, you know, 2015, that's the year that we opened Oma Spoon. Even at the time, because the bingsu was too new, and then we tried to modify what is suitable for local environment and local flavors. And that's how it come with the uh, Oma Spoons. We wanted to have something like English name. To eat things, you need spoon. And then Oma, it can be actually two meanings. Oh my spoon. And the other one is Oma is actually Oma, which is a mother in Korean. 
널 처음 만났던 가을 너무 쉽게 친해졌던 몇 번의 날 첫눈에 느꼈던 나 When we're looking for bingsu, the key ingredient we're looking out for is the shaped milk. We want that feeling of snow melting in your mouth. Whereas some are just really coarse ice, then those shops will quickly phase out. Mm, this is not what we want, no. It feels like a very artificial. There's a mixture of the milk and water, right? Very light. Apart from the quality of the milk, the texture of the ice is actually very important. The ice needs to be fluffy, and this fluffiness can give it the very best taste. Let's see what it can do. You can actually feel that milk flavor coming out, right? Correct, yeah. Mm. This one is the best. Bingsu is actually coming from the, uh, the machine. If you don't know the machine, then you can't get the fluffy texture of the Bingsu. Bingsu machine was created for Korea environment. It was never built for Southeast Asia. It seems like a nice, very healthy. It just needs to refill a little bit. This refrigeration system shouldn't be running three, six, five days. Therefore, you need to maintain the Bingsu machine very well. Or the machine will not last more than three months. I moved to New Zealand with my family when I was 14 years old. Immigrants, they usually open up like a small stores or restaurant. My mom always wanted to open like a small restaurant. She said, I want to do Korean cuisine. My mom is a good chef. Everybody loves her food. During lunch and dinner, um, there's no seat. Four years, five years later, mom's restaurant has been selected as the um, best 100 Asian restaurant in Australia and New Zealand combined. Mom's restaurant inspires me to be able to open a uh, restaurant. Okay. On 2010, I decided to actually come down to Singapore. So I really love to actually introduce more variety, more good ingredients so that people can enjoy. Singapore is actually one of the safest countries to live and also the people are desire to look for the new all the time. They know what's the best food here. I have real confidence that I can do success here. Hi, Auntie. Hi, morning. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good morning. How are morning. you? We actually try to do the um, the, the, the tofu soups. Oh, tofu soup. Which one this do you prefer? A, that. This one. Here, I realize they say Uncle Auntie's everywhere. In Korea, Uncle Auntie is more reserved word for the um, family only. Harder, medium size. This, is, this, is harder. this one is it. Later, I realized they have a culture that respecting to the oldies, they call auntie and uncles. So uh, they like hard one, yeah. then they soft one. Yeah, that one is soft one. This is tofu, also can for also soup. Can. Also. So I this see. is the one that you use uh, inside the, uh, the, the, the yong tofu? Is yeah, it's okay. Uh, also can. Yeah. So which is a better taste? In Singapore, everybody said can, 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 can. And initially, I didn't realize what they're talking about because the word actually literally means in US is uh, cubicles of toilets. Is it means they want to go toilet or they want to use toilet? You want the full seafood, everything also can. Ah, uh, I see, I see. This one is a mix up with the uh, yeah, many tastes, that's yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where are you? Oh, for Korea? Yeah. Oh, 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 you know, oh my God. God. The K-Wave was already here in Singapore, so everyone was, was very kind and nice to me. I can you please, please sit down. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, sure, sure, sure. I don't feel like, you know, very outsider. Yeah, that kind of feeling I didn't, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I visit majority of Korean restaurants and their best seller is spiced tofu soup. 
so I set a spicy tofu restaurant in Marina. At that time, I didn't realize actually um, how difficult market is in Singapore. After two months, we had no people. For Asian people, tofu is one of the cheapest products. So they are not willing to pay for money to consume tofu. I wasn't able to handle that stress. Every month you have a hefty rental supposed to go up every day. Every month you have the salaries going out every day. And every month you have no directions. I set up Korean Spice Tofu Soup Shop in 2011, and that was the first business venture in Singapore. I thought I'm the best in the world. <laughs> After two months, my hope was like totally destroyed. My sister and I, we had no customers. This is the lowest point in my life. Because you have nothing more to lose, you have opportunity to try new things. Singapore is all year round, it's summer, so every day is hot. Being sweet is always like a food for the during the summertime. So we decided to actually close the tofu shop and we opened the Bing Su shop. The biggest risk when you open the, uh, the Bingsu shop in Singapore will be, of course, you have to go to the right location to get the, uh, to get the right crowd. Because we never had this kind of dessert cafe in Singapore. Everybody telling me that um, Bingsu will be very short term. If I fail this, then I have no other choice to go back. This is Korea strawberry. Yeah? This one yesterday only. Yeah, it was this one. Most important to produce the bingsu is going to be number one, ingredient. Number two, ingredient. Number three, ingredients. Oh, yeah. It smells nice. <laughs> when I was young, I followed my mom to go to the um, farms to pick up the whole veggies. And then you know which one is good and bad. This one may be green. No, no, no. Not very good eye. Eh? We need to mix it. Eh? He's especially particular about the ingredients. He doesn't listen to others. He has got to see with his, his eyes. Uh, you have a new apple, eh? Yeah, this one. Even the um, um, apple itself, it has a different flavor in different part of the world. Wherever you plant it, they have a different flavors. So you need to choose which one is on season so that they have the best flavor out of it. When we opened the um, three on three, that was instant hit. And from the day one, people are queuing until at least eight months. The taste was better, like the milk is richer. Wow, this is so cool. I really love sweet stuff, so you know, this is kind of right up my alley. Okay, our signature bingsu is a signature in Germany, and mango cheesecake, and also green tea. Yes, I am son of a god. We have strong royal customers who are actually coming uh, almost six days a week. 
which even myself that I'm um, being told her that uh, do you had enough? <laughs> One Campbell cookie. Would you like anything to drink? Here got more younger crowd, so I try to have more uh, the the flavors like uh, using the caramel cookies and Milo bingsu plus the uh, banana. Oma Spoon is still standing quite strong because of the location. It has built a loyal fan base to attract more customers. They just have to keep innovating. I think as with all trends, there's sort of a tipping point when there's a new restaurant or there's a new dish that people are really interested in. They come and try and then once they've done that, they may move on to the next trendy thing. Five months later, this Korean comedian is opening the new bingsu shop in downstairs at ground level. He's very famous. Korean TV broadcasting, you know, they came over to shoot him. I don't know if we will still survive. So we feel like we have to differentiate ourselves from the competition. What exactly does Singaporean really love? I think that the chili party would be the most versatile. It's got the kick. So uh, whatever sauces you put into it, it'll have the it'll have that spicy spiciness. Personally, I prefer to interact with the natural environment. And then that actually gave me a lot of inspiration, what I can do with the, um, those items. So you got the murder tree here? Yeah, we do. Oh, murder tree is actually very famous in Korea and Japan, actually. Oh, okay. I'm quite surprised, actually, Singapore has murder tree. So do yeah. you think, actually, that people know, actually, murder in Singapore? No, I think mulberry is one of these less known fruits. Uh, the use of it is very low. So if they see something on the menu that with mulberry, their interest might be piqued. Mm. Mm. Majority of Singaporeans don't go for other than what they recommended. So there's not many explorers. But if you are too regular, then you will have uh, so much competitions. Ah, what's up? Mm. Finally. Okay. Okay. It is Friday, well, it is a public holiday, which is a good Friday. And I think it's a very good opportunity for us to let our customers try the new flavors and get the uh, feedback from them. We found these actually uh, flavors. I think actually for this time that we just need to develop like uh, two, maybe more, more than three kinds. Something that we can introduce first like uh, such as cacao nibs, rice yogurt, maybe mulberry. Mm. Okay, mulberry. My concern is because this, when you put it on top of bingsu, right, it doesn't really look nice because it's just the powder. So I think we have to add in some more like uh, fruits, make it more visualized. Fruits? Yeah. What are them actually able to mix together then? Like um, uh, mulberry and cacao nibs and some fruits. Burberry and cacao nib. Do you mm. think that goes well? Well, let's try. Okay, Yawa, so... She is a very conservative person. So, it's a bit of a um, crash every time when we develop into a new item. It takes me a lot of effort to persuading her. We have three options then mm -hmm. to try. Mm -hmm. So, one will be Burberry cacao. Yep. And second, mm -hmm. ginseng yogurt. Mm -hmm. And third will be chili and cacao. If you're too conservative, then you will disappear like winds. This is the new flavour using chilli and chocolate. It has a little kick. Hmm, I mean, right? more kick. Too much? No, I need more. My brother Chris is very adventurous type. As soon as I see the ingredient, oh, Chris, this is not going to work. Gosh, it's getting hot. <laughs> so maybe, <coughs> maybe oh. we should, you know. I oh. think the first is the, oh. I mean, just good enough. The second round, I think it's too much. <laughs> Are you okay? 
Oh. You want water? <웃음> <웃음> 그 다음에 바닐라는 어저께 새로 왔어. 바닐라 아이스크림이요? 음. It's a good Friday, so that's why we have uh, more customers, more busy day for us. I'm nervous, but at the same time, very excited to hear what they are going to say about my new menu. Novel flavors are great in terms of being trendy. People may go try it once just to take a photo of it or for bragging rights. Whether they stay on is, is, a, is the question, really. Right. So maybe you can try first and see what's inside. Oh, I think conflict. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's conflict. Yeah, yeah, difficult to guess because it's, uh, I don't think if you ever heard of this Burberry. Burberry. It's also from Korea. It's very good for the, uh, the health. My favorite is this, I think, oh, the one with the conflicts. I yeah. See. It is easier for some cuisines to adapt to a palate, especially the ones that have similar flavor profiles and textures. Those are easier to assimilate. Thank you. Actually, it's got the chocolate and the chili. Chili very mild, sweet and spicy, but the spice is not a lot. The feedback was quite good. I thought because the chili is so exotic, but actually the, I've, I found the young ones, they like the other new flavors with chilies. When I and my brother first opened for the uh, Oma Spoon, I was so nervous, you know, what if they don't like it? Yeah, but I mean, seeing the feedback was quite amazing. I believe actually best food and best ingredient bring the people together. Does not matter if it's a Korean, Singaporean, Australian, New Zealand. Whenever you can provide from your heart that this is the best, then they can feel it. So you gotta balance well, and then you have to hold like this, yeah? 